Okay. Oh. So get dip the sponge. Now. Let's go. An iron. Okay. Try to lift it up and squeeze. It's wet. Did it absorb water? Yes. Okay. So the sponge is absorbent. Science experiment time! Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel! I'm Joni and with me is my sister, Kayla, who will assist me in this experiment. So, for today's video, we are going to see which materials will absorb and which materials will not absorb. For this experiment, we need a rubber ball, cotton, sponge, face towel, tissue, and water tray, and cup. We will dip it the items one by one and observe. So first, before putting yung materials uh, water natin, what do you observe with the sponge? Is it wet or dry? Dry. What about the tissue? Dry. And the towel? All of them are dry. Yeah. Okay. All of them are dry. Now we will try to dip the sponge muna. Okay. Oh. So get dip the sponge. Now. Let's go. And I Okay. Try to lift it up and squeeze. It's wet. Did it absorb water? Yes. Okay. So the sponge is absorbent. Now let's try. The ball. Oh. Kayla will try the ball. Okay. So a while ago the ball is dried. Now I know. Is it wet? No. Yes. The, is the ball wet? Yes. Basaba yung ball? Yes. yes. The ball is wet. And can you squeeze squeeze it out of the water? What? Out of the water? Oh, it absorbed water. A bit, no? Yes. Diba? A bit. Now, let's try the tissue. 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 Squeeze it. Dip it. Oh, no. It's melting. Oh, it's melting. <gasps> like a... Oh. Okay. Now, let's try the cup. The cup. Right now, your cup is dry. Right? And you know, once you dip it in the water, nag-absorb ba siya ng water? Yes. Wa nag-absorb ba siya ng water, Kuya Johnny? No. No, it did not absorb water. Now, let's try that towel, Kuya Johnny. Okay. Can I? I know. Try to dip it, okay? Bubbles. <laughs> okay. And Okay. It also absorbed water. What are you holding, Kayla? Cotton. cotton. We will also try the cotton. Oh, I'm cute. Okay, squeeze it. Okay. Did it absorb water? Yeah. Okay, so that means the cotton is absorbent to water. Based from our activity, some materials absorb water. We call that as porous. Porous are materials having small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. While other materials did not absorb water, we call that as non-porous. Non-porous materials are materials that do not allow air or liquid to pass through. Cotton is very porous, which makes it a natural absorber of water. While plastic is a non-porous material, does not allow water to pass through. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please click the like button and click the subscribe button for more videos. Bye!